welcome to 25 Days of Animal Facts. Today we're talking about gray wolves. Gray wolves are one of the most widespread mammal species across the world, and they're the largest wild canine species that's out there. Gray wolves have a number of adaptations to help them survive in the wild. For example, their hearing is excellent. They can hear a howl anywhere from 10 miles away. Their smell is 100 times greater than ours. They have these very narrow chests that help them get through the snow, as well as these very large paws that act basically like snowshoes. Their jaws are easily capable of crushing bones. And they can cover long distances at about 5 to 7 miles per hour, or go on a sprint up to 40 miles per hour. On top of all of that, they're also a social species, and they are highly communicative with each other, and they live in family groups called packs. And I guess you could say through the power of friendship, they like to hunt down animals much bigger than themselves. Um, you Running at the prey as a pack, they will run the animals down, find the weakest link, so one who may be sick, elderly, injured, young. Um, they will separate them from the rest of the herd, and then work together to take the prey down. Gray wolves are basically a cousin to our modern domestic dog. And just like us, the family is usually ruled by the uh, parents of the pack, also known as the alphas, which is kind of an outdated term, but I hope it gets the point across what I'm trying to say. Um, the parents will kind of rule over the pack, they'll be the ones who are in charge, and the young will usually disperse around three years of age. These disperser wolves will usually leave to set up their own territory in order to start their own families or their own packs. And setting up a new territory is no simple task. A gray wolf can take anywhere from like 50 square miles to 1,000 square miles per pack. Because their territories are so large, it's very important for them to be able to communicate across long distances, which is where howling comes in. Wolves howl for a variety of reasons, and none of them have to do with the moon. It's one way for them to communicate to um, neighboring packs that this is their territory, please stay away. It's a way for them to rally each other. It's a way for them to find each other, um, so members of the same pack. Um, and it's just a general way to communicate. Now, you don't have to be an expert on wolves to know that they are carnivores. Just look at those teeth. Um, but the impressive thing is they can eat anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds of meat in a single setting. Um, so it's a really good thing that they do though because they can go up to 14 days between meals, so two weeks between each meal. Now unfortunately, being the carnivores that they are, they have gone after people's livestock or even their pets, and because of that we have almost hunted wolves to extinction here in North America. Worldwide, there's somewhere around 40 subspecies of wolves, and unfortunately, due to human extermination of wolves, we've reduced their range by about one-third. Luckily though, wolves are making a comeback. The last gray wolf was eradicated in the Yellowstone National Park in 1926. Gray wolves were then reintroduced to Yellowstone in 1995, and since then, they've been helping reinvigorate the ecosystem there. It was previously overrun with animals such as elk, where they were eliminating the vegetation before it had a chance to truly replenish itself, because with the lack of wolves meant that the animals weren't moving as much, and the populations were getting unsustainably high uh, for different prey species. So now that the wolves were running them again, causing them to migrate, causing them to leave certain areas alone for certain periods of the year so the vegetation could replenish itself and grow, um, it's made for a much healthier ecosystem overall. I hope that you were able to learn something new or interesting about these important apex predators, and as always, I definitely encourage you to read up more about them.